I'm Dana Barbar with Barbar Hair Tools, and this is the Barbar Echo 8000 blow dryer, the first truly echo-friendly dryer on the market, and in a moment I can prove it to you. But first, let's talk about why the Echo 8000 is echo-friendly. It's because of this, the heating element. This is a ceramic heating element. It uses most of the electricity and energy, turning it into heat. Therefore, you have a very low radiation output, or EMF, electric magnetic field. This is a coil heating element, standard in all the dryers we use today and have used for years. And the problem with the coil heating element is it wastes electricity and energy, turns some of it into heat, but turns a lot of it into harmful radiation. This has a very high EMF radiation output. And one more thing you should know about the ceramic heating element and all the Barbar Echo 8000s. It's as hard as a rock, very durable. So this lasts a lot longer than this. So you'll have your Barbar Echo 8000 for years to come. Right here, I have an electromagnetic field tester, an EMF tester that tests radiation. We're going to test the radiation output of a normal functioning microwave. I have a standard 2000 watt blow dryer with a coil heating element. I have our competition's eco friendly blow dryer, 1400 watts with a coil heating element. And I have a Barbar Echo 8000, a 1000 watt ceramic heating element. I will talk to you about the 1000 watts later because I don't want that to fool you. A 1000 watts, but comparable in heat and blowing power to an 1800 watt dryer. I'll prove that later too. Okay. So we have, let me get this, uh, let's, okay, my minute on the microwave, I have a natural EMF reading of around 1.0 or less. Now let's turn on the microwave and see what our radiation reading is. Goes to overload, oh well. I'll take it back a little bit and go in slowly again and you see it climbs higher and higher until it goes to overload. So you can see that a uh, microwave has a very high radiation EMF reading, which I don't think any of us are too surprised about. Now let's test the radiation reading of the 2000 watt dryer with the coil heating element. Okay, we've got a natural reading of about 0.5. I'm going to put all my dryers on high heat and high speed, okay? Here we go. Goes to overload. I'll take it back and bring it in slowly again. It climbs higher and higher until it goes to overload. So you have an, uh, a very high EMF reading comparable to a microwave with a 2000 watt standard blow dryer. Now let's try our competition's eco-friendly dryer. We've got a natural reading of about 0.4. High speed, high heat. Here we go. Goes to overload again. I'll take it back. Bring it in gradually. Okay. Again, it goes to overload. The EMF tester radiation reading is high for the Echo Friendly Dryer with the coil heating element. Now, the Barbar Echo 8000 with the ceramic heating element. High heat, high speed, here we go. I've got it right on top of that EMF tester. Take it back, bring it in again. Doesn't, doesn't even make it to, to eight. Just about eight is the highest that it goes. So, you've seen it for yourself. We tested a microwave, a normal dryer, our competition's eco-friendly dryer, and our Barbar Echo 8000. And this apparently and obviously has the lowest EMF rating. Didn't go uh, above 8.0. Um, back to the 1,000 watts. It's got 1,000 watts, but it's comparable in heat and blowing power to an 1,800 watt. Nice heat!
and the blow power is great. Very powerful dryer.